Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our virtual college visit series. Today, we have Christine Okerson, who is our Senior Associate Director of Admissions with East Carolina University. So I'm going to hand this over to her to get started. Thank you for joining us today. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I am thrilled to share a little bit more about what makes ECU so special and so unique. So ECU is located in Greenville, North Carolina, which is really the perfect kind of college town. We're situated in between kind of the Triangle area of North Carolina, so Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, and close to the coast. So we've got that small college town atmosphere that I really love. Um, three of my absolute favorite things about ECU are our academic breadth. We have over 87 different majors, um, concentrations, and certificates that students can choose from. So you can literally come to ECU and switch from interior design to construction management to pre-med to engineering, all at the same institution. That's something that we really love. Second is that we are a large school in a small college town. So we have over 27,000 total students, but um, you're constantly getting to see and know people around campus. So it does really feel like home. And then third is that our spirit um, and college presence is really palpable. The town of Greenville bleeds purple and gold. And everywhere you go in the state of North Carolina and beyond, you'll see pirate flags um, waving proudly. And that's something that we really love as well. I want to talk about a couple of our campus locations. So first is our main campus. That's where the majority of the undergraduate courses are taught. Uh, for most majors, that's where most students live. That's where our athletic facilities are, two big dining halls, and one of our many rec centers is located there as well. We also have a campus in the Outer Banks. Um, I know for many of my Virginia friends um, that visiting the Outer Banks is definitely a highlight of their time um, in the, over the summer. And we are very lucky to have a campus in Wan Chis, North Carolina, where students can actually study abroad for a semester at a time um, and take classes, do research, and even have an internship while they're there. You don't have to be a major of marine science to take advantage of that, but it's a really great opportunity to have kind of that close-knit atmosphere for a semester at a time. On our West Research Campus, we actually have the remnants of Queen Anne's Revenge, Blackbeard's infamous pirate ship, um, that students and researchers are doing lots of different tests and things on all the time. They constantly are finding new artifacts, new remnants of the ship right outside of the Beaufort Inlet in North Carolina. Um, I took my team there this summer and we got to see the big anchor and some cannons in person. Pretty amazing. Um, and next is our health sciences campus. This is where a lot of students will actually take classes as they become a junior or senior if they're thinking about nursing or allied health sciences as a major. Um, so lots of really great opportunities for students there as well. Our allied health sciences college is the largest in the state of North Carolina. And over 50% of our students here at ECU are majoring in something science related. So something in a STEM field. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, like I said, ECU is a large school. Um, we have representation from 47 different states, 99 different countries, and all 100 North Carolina counties. Uh, we are a school that is very proud of being very diverse. We do definitely have a very large veteran, um, non-traditional student population, as well as a school that you can really make your mark and really kind of get involved in a number of different activities. Our first year freshman class is usually at right over 4,000 total students. Um, so still a regularly pretty normal size um, and good size to kind of get to know other students on campus. Um, I mentioned that we have 87 different bachelor's degrees to choose from. That's the largest of any public school in the state of North Carolina. Again, we want students to have options. We know students change their mind about majors so frequently, and we want to give them the chance to be able to do that, to explore, to play, and to try out different things before committing to one specific major. ECU is also very special because we're the only university that has a dental school, a medical school, and a college of engineering all at the same institution. Um, so that really gives our students some advantages with pre-professional advising and with thinking about their future while they're in an undergraduate institution. Next is study abroad, one of my favorite things to talk about. 
Uh, ECU is lucky enough to have a year-round program in Tuscany in Italy. Um, so students can study abroad there, but we also have programs in over 60 different countries led by ECU faculty. You will still pay the same in-state tuition or out-of-state tuition, uh, depending on your residency, to go to, to go somewhere for a semester away and have a completely different experience. When I was in college, I studied abroad twice. I did a program that was in Italy and Ireland, kind of half and half. And I did another program in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and both were completely life-changing. So regardless of where you go to college, thinking about fitting in study abroad is really important to kind of open your eyes to different perspectives, different cultures, et cetera. Um, on campus, we our campus living and dining is also really fantastic. I mentioned that we have um, two big dining halls um, on campus. One is closer to our athletic facilities as one is closer to West End and kind of uptown Greenville. We also are lucky to have the highest number of Starbucks on a college campus in North Carolina. So we're definitely big fans of coffee. We have Chick-fil-A, we have Raising Cane's, Panda Express, um, lots of different things for students to choose from. And then we also have 16 different residence halls and three different neighborhoods. So students who want to like wake up and go straight to class usually live in central campus. Students who want to be closer to the gym and to uptown Greenville where we've got shops and uh, restaurants and all that good stuff um, might want to live there. And then third, our College Hill neighborhood gets to see the marching band before all of our home games and is a little bit closer to our athletic facilities. But even though we're a large school, our campus is very walkable. So students can easily walk um, from place to place um, and usually get anywhere on campus within 10 minutes. Um, Outside of that, our students, like I said, are very involved. Whether you're interested in being in the fashion club, the chicken nugget lovers club, um, the fine arts club, the U Rock club, I think they literally paint rocks and give those out to students. Um, you can get involved in Greek life. You can get involved in sports clubs, even intramural sports like Battleship, where you try to dunk one another's canoes with buckets of water. Um, so there's definitely a lot of ways to get involved and to find your niche on campus. Uh, we want students to find that home and find that place that really makes them thrive and fit in. Um, of course, we are Division I in terms of athletics, but again, sport clubs are kind of like JV. You still get to have a team and travel and compete against other colleges and universities. And then intramurals are usually a little bit more for fun. They're time bound. So you know you're going to be playing this sport for just a couple of weeks, um, but you do get to play for the coveted intramural sports champion t-shirt. So that's very exciting. Um, I mentioned that we are Division I, um, and we do have really fantastic sports, as well as a lot of really great pride. Um, going to a game at ECU is something unmatched by any other school I've worked at. Um, so the, the spirit, like I said, is really high. At our football games, they'll say, you know, first down, Pirates. Um, so if there's just nothing that can kind of meet that, that energy and that excitement. Our baseball team is really phenomenal. Our women's tennis and women's golf is really strong. So lots of different ways to kind of support your fellow friends and athletes while you're here at ECU and really enrich your experience. Next, we have a lot of really fantastic traditions. Uh, some of my favorites include the polar bear plunge. Every year in January, our crazy students uh, will line up to jump into the outdoor pool when it's really cold. Um, even the chancellor does it every year. Um, and if you do it, you get a very coveted t-shirt as well. So that's really fun. Um, Raid the Wreck happens at the beginning of the year and it's full of free food and t-shirts and games and ways to kind of connect with other students. Every Friday we wear purple, um, that's Paint It Purple Friday. And then Barefoot on the Mall is kind of our celebration at the end of the year in April with tons of food trucks, vendors. Um, we usually have a big name concert as well. So those are just some of many traditions on campus, but definitely things that our students really look forward to. At ECU, we are very career focused as well. We want students to be thinking about internships and jobs um, and ways that they can kind of connect with alumni. One of the big perks of going to a larger school is having such a big network of alumni to connect with um, and use to help you as you're navigating the first steps in your career after college. Um, we have students that work all over the place um, and in a lot of different industries, but working with the Career Services Center early on in your career is definitely important to kind of help set your yourself up for success. So let's talk a little bit about how to apply. Um, so we recommend that students apply for the seniors out there by December 15th at this point, just to make sure you're eligible to apply for some of our merit scholarships. That deadline um, for our merit scholarships application is January 15th. Um, and so we want students to be able to 
be able to apply for those and be considered for those outside of their traditional application. If you're a junior out there, you might be thinking about the Honors College and Honors College applications are usually due uh, by November 1st to be admitted and then to be invited to apply for the Honors College. For a completed application, we just need your application with your essay, your $75 fee, and your high school transcript. We are test optional, so there's no need to submit test scores for admission whatsoever. It doesn't give you an advantage. Um, it doesn't put you at a disadvantage. We recommend just doing the transcript because that means your application will complete faster and thus you'll be reviewed faster and be able to take kind of the next steps at that point. So like I said, we're over 4,000 students in our freshman class each year um, and our middle 50% for the GPA is listed on this slide as well. We do accept three different types of applications. You can apply through the Common App, CFNC, or through our admissions navigator portal. Uh, again, we don't have a preference for any of those. Whatever is works best for you is fine for us. And I think that's all for me. So if you have any questions, um, Carly is actually the counselor for you guys, um, but feel free to reach out to her or myself. Either of us is always happy to help with any questions that you may have. If you fill out that, if you scan that little QR code, it will take you to our inquiry form. So you can kind of get connected and start getting mailings and stuff like that from ECU as well. But again, we really hope you can come down to campus, come and visit us take a tour, come to an academic day, um, and explore everything that ECU has to offer. Thank you so much.